Hey you guys, what is this? Good morning, welcome to the vlog. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Um, are we back to normal? <laughs> Look at us. Um, hi, welcome. It is 2.22, Cody's off today. He got a little bit of a new schedule. He switched his days off. So we are experiencing him off on a different day, which is super nice. He's been home all day, he's been tidying, hanging out. We have been watching an awesome show on Netflix. We just finished it called, what, Mix Experts or something? It's like a mixology show. I need to figure out what it is so I can actually give you a proper recommendation now. One second. Um, and now he's just gone off to Costco, actually. And baby is sleeping in his bassinet right beside me on the floor his basket oh am i being too loud sorry he's been listening to me give birth while i edit the vlog for like half an hour so i'm sure you know if, if that doesn't wake him up um drink masters on netflix is called excellent show if you like cooking shows and things like that. These are like the top mixologists. Cody and I watch um, this guy on YouTube, on the YouTube channel Bon Appetit. He is a sommelier, which is like a wine pairing expert. Um, we're super fascinated. We don't drink alcohol. I occasionally have um, a small glass of very expensive scotch whiskey. <laughs> and that's the extent of our drinking life. Cody doesn't drink anything at all. Um, but we are fascinated by the chemistry of drink mixing. And if you are enjoy alcohol or um, maybe like us, just like to watch that be happen, it's a really great show. Anyway, we just finished that. Um, and I'm back to filming. So I'm editing today. I'm trying to get the videos edited now. I'm feeling really comfortable being up. I completed my, so Zagreus is two weeks old tomorrow. Um, you guys won't be getting this until he's like probably like almost three weeks old or three weeks. It just depends how quick it takes or it depends how quick I can edit things. Um, I have three vlogs to get out to you. I think just three. Um, three pretty long vlogs though to get out to you before you guys see this one. So uh, you guys will have seen the birth video or the birth vlog, the birth video, the birth vlog, two different videos. Um, the first 24 hours of the newborn and our Christmas special. And now you guys are seeing this. So that's what has been released. I'm just trying to catch up on editing. I feel really good to sit here and edit now. I'm still on my ball just to honor my pelvic floor. Um, but he gives me really, really strong naps in the afternoon. And so I've been able to just put him in his bassinet right beside me here. And um, nurse, if, I'm sorry that <laughs> didn't realize. You guys are gonna see me with funky chests in the next few months, I apologize, um, I have a burp cloth in my shirt because like I have expressed before, I am a milk machine and um, sometimes just hearing him, you know, if you breastfeed, you know, if you know, you know. Um, yeah, there's just a lot. There's a lot of milk <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> um, so I get a little, little lumpy chested with my burp cloth shoved up my shirt. Um, yeah, but I wanted to film today and get back to vlogging. So I thought I would just kind of take you along today and show you guys some baby spam and just get, get back into the groove. And I don't want to miss too much time. I had a really lovely break. I haven't filmed since Christmas. Um, and so that's been, when, when was Christmas? It's the 3rd of January today. So, you know, Christmas was like a week ago, a week and a couple days, right? I don't know. <laughs> what is time? Um, but I'm feeling really amazing and I want to talk to you guys again and I want to film and I'm just like feeling inspired to film and edit and I'm loving working on my birth vlog right now. So yeah, I wanted to say hi to you guys. Cody went to Costco. I have a friend coming over to visit me in an hour. Um, so I'm just trying to get a little bit of work done and then I will talk to you this evening around dinner time probably because I'm not going to film when my friend is here. But before that, I will show you little baby. Um, he had his first bath last night. It was spontaneous. I don't bath my babies until at least 10 days old. Um, just because that vernix soaks into their skin. I've had cold season babies too. So it's just best for their skin not to be bathed right away. Um, there's a lot of benefits. You can Google it. Really, really good to delay that first bath. Um, so his belly button actually took longer to fall off than my other two. It didn't fall off till day 10. Um, so we didn't actually do bath on day 10. We... 
it fell off and what last night we're on day 13 um last night i was having a herbal bath and he started kind of fussing in the bassinet beside the tub because cody had was still at work and was just getting home and so i was like oh maybe we'll do his first bath now and i ended up spontaneously just bringing him in the tub with me and we ha enjoyed a little herbal bath together and it was perfect and cody came in and got to experience that too and it was just a really lovely that first bath is so sacred right it's so special and you can tell he was born in water because he absolutely loved it um so yeah that was a special time obviously not something i would film uh i'm not one of those weird youtubers <laughs> who films too much i film a lot but like that's too much look at this sweet boy sleeping away he looks so different already you guys he's 13 days old Uh, precious boy. Uh, I think my midwife is coming back this week. I don't know. Um, I assume she is and we'll weigh him. And I'm excited to see what his weight is. So he lost four ounces after his birth only, which is only like 3%. They have like a 10% range that they can lose and be fine. Um, but he's, I've noticed like in the past, it's been like a week since we've weighed him now almost exactly maybe um i think she came last tuesday so he is definitely chunking up like i can see it in his cheeks and his chest and his thighs are getting chunkier so i I'm, I'm pretty sure he's gained some weight now so i'm excited to see how much and it's always so interesting right um but anyway i'm gonna keep editing i just wanted to say hi and say hello and get back into things and i will just film today um <laughs> My life is much less boring now, so I feel like I can easily start a vlog in the afternoon and have a ton of stuff. I hope you enjoy Baby Spam because that's half my videos now for now. Um, yeah, I've got, um, oh, I hope I remember to show you. I scored an awesome piece on Marketplace last night. I uh, went and sent Cody for that and he's a champion. I just texted him, I'm like, you're going to get something at this location, please and thank you. <laughs> and he's like, okay. Um, but I wanted to show you something really quick. This was a piece that was gifted to me this week by Mackenzie's best friend's dad is an artist. Both parents are, are artists, um, but he does like sculpting and stuff. And he made this, he made us this, he made me this beautiful, beautiful piece of jewelry. Um, and it's, it's a baby with the umbilical cord and it's like resin and sculpted clay, I think. Beautiful you see that and it's funny because he actually put a knot in the umbilical cord in this one and he has he showed me another piece of his that's just an umbilical cord he started making these for um moms and bereaved parents and midwives to give as like do to doulas and midwives and birth workers as gifts um so he's just starting to do pieces like this for that purpose yeah, um, but the funny thing is, is there's a knot in the umbilical cord, and in the one that he did just of an umbilical cord, there's a knot in it, because he was, a midwife came to his booth and was like, you need to include an umbilical cord knot, which is funny, because Zagreus was actually born with an umbilical cord knot, I'm going to talk about that in my birth story, i got to film that this week, um, and it's very, very rare, only like 0.5 to 1% of births have a true knot in the umbilical cord, um, my midwife has only seen like three in her entire career and, um, yeah, Zagreus was born with one, which was so cool. And it's why my labor was a little bit longer and why my pushing stage was longer because my body and him knew he needed time to descend so that knot didn't get tight. Um, very fascinating. Anyway, I wanted to show you that I'm going to get back to editing and I'll see you guys in a second, probably at dinner time when Cody's back with groceries and dinner. Every night's a mystery because I'm not the one cooking. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll see you in a second.
Hi, you guys. Um, today's an exciting day. We're wearing Baby in the Wrap for the first time. He's two weeks old now. He turned two weeks old yesterday. Um, I forgot filming with the thing, and so it's two days later, and I just remembered today, and I was like, oh, I was in the middle of filming vlog. I'm sorry. That will get better. Um, hi. hi. What are you doing? Oh, is he wearing him for the first time? Mm-hmm. Oh. He's been sleeping in here for a long time. He's so cute. I decided to put him in here so I could clean the room. So cute. Mm, look. Mm, I love you. I'll let you continue filming. Thank you. You know, you can baby wear him too sometimes if you want. You're big enough. You're an adult size. <laughs> we pretty much just fight over who gets to hold him all the time. <laughs> um... Yeah, I totally forgot that I was filming, so I am back at it again today. Um, I'm almost done this vlog. It's taken me a long time. Um, it's really long. It's I'm done the first run through, and it's 57 minutes. I might keep it there, but I have a little bit more work to do. I need to watch it through to see if I need to add music to any places, um, see if I left something that shouldn't be in there, or you know, there's with a long vlog like that, it just takes a little while. And I only get small bursts of time, obviously, to edit, so it's a slow progress or slow process. Um, but I was thinking yesterday I was talking to Cody and I was like, is 57 minutes too long? Like so many people aren't gonna watch that. But then I realized like anything longer than like 12 minutes, I'm gonna lose people anyway who aren't interested in staying engaged for that long. And like, you know, then you get past 20 minutes and people aren't gonna watch it. Um, and that was never what this vlog was supposed to be. It wasn't, it's not catering to the short attention spans. That's what the other vlog was for, the birth video, where it was only 14 minutes. Um, and I, we were just talking and I was like, oh yeah, I, like, well, it's okay if it's like an hour long because the people who really, he's like having some dreams. The people who really like birth and who want to watch all this stuff, they're going to watch it anyway. Um, so I'm probably just going to leave it and let it be long. But I still do have to go through it one more time. So, yeah. Um, it always looks like it's so late in the day. It's only noon. It's like 12.30, quarter to one. Um, I just did a little tidy of the room. I'm going to try and sit down and fold some laundry today. We're just trying to balance keeping everything, keeping up with the house. Um, Cody works, obviously, like 10-hour days. So, I'm still trying to take it really easy. Oh, he's a loud boy. I love it. Um, I'm still trying to take it really easy, but still like trying to keep catch up on things. So I'll probably like editing. Oh, we're having big dreams. Big dreams. Editing is my priority today. Um, but laundry is my second priority because I have four baskets. <laughs> two right there and two right there. Um, so we'll see. It's not, we'll see. Whatever gets done, gets done, right? I'm not, I'm not worried about it, right? This time passes too quickly. He's already two weeks old. I cannot get over it. My goodness. Um, our midwife is coming back at the beginning of next week. So we'll weigh him and see if he's passed his birth weight. I'm sure he has. I'm about to unwrap him and um, change his bum and feed him. So I think he's just sleeping super, super good in the wrap, but I think half of this morning is hungry. <laughs> but can't wake up, hey? Look at him in there, you guys. <laughs>
more vomit comets. Oh, this I put you on the old quilt. Yes. Okay. Ready? Are you ready? Hey everyone, I don't know if you can see me that well. Hopefully it's fine. Um, I forgot to vlog again. Doing my best. Um, it's hard to film these days. Today's Cody is not home. It's like the first day he's not home. Um, in the evening too. So today, since he's two weeks old now, we're going to start the process of developing a nighttime routine. Well, like we're just trying to start our routines and develop routines in general very slowly. I'm not, again, you guys know I'm not really a big routine and schedule person. I'm more of a rhythm person. So we're just starting the gentle beginnings of our rhythm. So it is seven o'clock, 6.59. I'm going to coconut oil him since I don't bath him every night. I don't bath my babies every day. Um, especially now in the winter. He just had his first bath at 12 days old. And um, he actually had a second bath last night. We tried shower, um, wasn't a fan of shower, so we switched to bath. And so now I'm just starting with like a little bit of a routine. We're gonna coconut oil, we're gonna put pajamas on. We're just gonna have our calm little cozy time just to start get to get him used to a rhythm and to start anticipating that rhythm. But mostly it's for me, right? It's for both of us, he eh? Hiccups. Oh my goodness, hiccup bumps. So I know I'm going to start getting a lot of questions about baby care and things like that. So I will answer as I go through these videos. Um, I'll try and remember to talk about it a little bit. So I don't use lotion on my babies. The only thing I use is breast milk or coconut oil. Um, I always have. Um, I just find that's the thing I'm most comfortable with. It moisturizes their skin. It's the most natural thing I can put on them. I do not like to put anything like artificial on them. Um, and there's no lotion I trust enough to put on my baby. So coconut oil is pure. I just use an organic coconut oil, the same coconut oil I use in the apothecary and in the kitchen and all sorts of places. I just keep a container in my bathroom and this is everybody's bathroom coconut oil because again, we were crunchy before it was cool <laughs> way back in the day. And so we've been using, what this is one of the first things we started doing was using coconut oil as a moisturizer after we get out of the shower. And it's just something we all do now. It's super normal in our house. But baby skin is quite peely, especially the longer you're pregnant with them, it seems that um, the peelier they are when they are born. And it's the middle of winter in Canada and it's very dry. And so keeping baby skin moisturized is really important. I feel like somebody might ask, oh, what if he eats a little bit of it or something? Um, that doesn't really happen, and it's the same as if you were going to put lotion on them, right? Like, what if they eat the lotion? Just don't put it on their hands. Right? You don't really suck on your arms. So I think we're okay. Oh, I know, it's a little tickly, hey? It's a little tickly. Mommy, put some on your face. Grace the baby. Right? Are we greasing the baby? <laughs> oh, good job. Great job, buddy. Ready? Little roll? Mommy, get your back. Great job. Another little roll? Thank you. Great job. All done. Something else I will do is like his belly button is still healing, his cord fell off, but it's still like, it's normal for it to be a little, I don't know, icky. Um, but I just put breast milk on it every diaper change and that fixes lots. Hey, oh, thank you, my sir. Come here. Breast milk is magic. If you have a problem, put breast milk on it. I need to put that on a shirt. I need to find a shirt. I'm sure that's a shirt already. I need to find a shirt that says put breast milk on it. 99 problems and breast milk solved 98 of them. 
It's not time for baby to have a bath today, but mommy, I think it's gonna have a bath today. Cause that sounds lovely. When you go to bed, maybe mommy goes and reads in the tub and you lay in your bassinet beside me. That sounds lovely, doesn't it? I think so. Mommy thinks so. Hi, all done. If you're wondering where the heck my big kids have been this whole vlog, gaming mostly um every time they've stopped gaming and we've hung out i've been super intentional with spending time with them totally didn't even think to turn on the camera and also it's kind of funny mackenzie is more willing to be on the camera and have pictures taken of her now um and grayson is much more reserved he's getting to that age where he's like i don't want this to be a picture i don't want to be on camera so if you're ever like rainbow you only like one of your cans it's <laughs> Because my other kids don't want to be on camera. Right? We just do this all day. And the other kids are like, we have, we have lives, mom. Hi. You need milk again? We just had milk. And you want more milk? We can arrange that. We can. Yeah. Because guess what? You get as much as you want. Isn't that magical? You get to have as much as you want. Boobies on tap. You guys, this is all my vlogs are going to be. I'm sorry. I can't. I haven't had a baby in so long. I can't help it. Is it okay that, like, is that a thing? that you're, Can your own baby give you baby fever? I think so. Don't tell daddy. Right? Don't tell daddy. <laughs> I'm joking. Kind of. Sometimes I understand Making up a romance life, it never pays in the end. But still, I am here, moving on like before. I'm yearning to be sure. I'm ready for bed now. now we like to snuggle up here, it's good for my back <laughs> to sit on the pillows. And we like to snuggle under a blankie, right? So this is what I kind of want to get him used to, is just nice little routine where we'll moisturize him and pajamas, have snack, and then go to sleep. And then eventually, um, yeah, I'll be able to put him down for his first stretch before I go to bed. And that's when Cody and I will have some time together with no kids. Well, the big kids will kind of be in and out. But it'll give us a little bit of time as a couple, which is important. So I'm just basically setting us up to be able to have that 